Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how you can set up tiebreakers in Excel. So in this example I've got four teams, each play three games. As you can see three of them have the exact same win-draw uh, loss ratios and same number of points, but there's a difference when it comes to, to goal differential. Now I wouldn't be able to rank these teams based solely on their points because you know three of them have the exact same number of points but you could rank them when you have a second criteria such as such as goal differential and so i'm going to show you how you could do that so for starters i'll show you how that how the rank function works in, in excel and why it doesn't work in this case so with the rank function you select the value that you're checking uh, where it ranks for then the select the range, and since we're looking for the largest, I'm going to leave the default. And so it tells me that team one is in position one in terms of points. So that is the that is that is correct. I want to freeze these cells just so that when I copy this down, the formula updates for the other for the other teams. And as you can see, teams two, three, and four have the same rank because obviously four is going to rank in the second spot based on this range as well. Now what I could do, however, is use this second criteria here for, for gold differential to say, okay, who has the best gold differential and then use that as a secondary criteria. So because points are my, my first criteria, I'm gonna start with, with that. And what I'm gonna do for my secondary criteria is now add the rank for the gold differential. So in this case, I'm gonna select this Again, select the range. Let's freeze the entire thing. Close that out. And now just adding it obviously is not gonna work here because that's gonna give me you know, rank of two. That's not what I need to do. What I'm gonna do is divide this by a factor of 10, just so I'm utilizing a, a decimal point now. So now it gives me 1.1. So now if I copy this down, We'll see how this works because now, e even though these three teams all ranked in the second spot based on points, you can see this one, team four, ranked in the second spot based on, on a gold differential. So it doesn't matter that this this one was, team one was in first place because it had plus three for, for gold differential because it's already in first place anyway. So it doesn't really matter. We're just ranking now the next group of, uh, the, next, the next team, right? So 2.2 is you know better than 2.3 which is better than 2.4 so now if i change this so let's say scores let's say just my scoring and now re-rank this then what i can do is use the rank function again except this time now i'm ranking these scores that i've populated here and then this time i'm not looking by the default descending order i'm looking in ascending order because i want the lowest values to show up uh, to be priority here. So now, you know, if you need to freeze this, copy this down, and now you can see, now my rank tells me that team one was in first place because it has the most points. Team four gets the second spot because although it was tied for points, it had the best goal difference of the, of the tied teams. Team three falls into the third spot because it had zero. And the, the team that ranks fourth is team two because it had the worst goal differential and it was tied for points. Now we could complicate this further and add a third criteria. Like let's say these teams were also tied on goal difference. All right, so right now, now they're both stuck at being 2.2. So again, my tiebreaker fails yet again. So what I can do is add another field. Let's call it... Uh, the fair play score. So in soccer slash football, you've got the number of yellow cards, and so the team with the, the fewest number gets the, the best points in terms of fair play. So that's an additional tiebreaker that could be used. So let's say, in in terms of um, you know yellow cards, they all had let's say four, three, two, and one, and so this team should rank the best because it had the fewest number uh, of yellow cards. So it would be the the best one based on that criteria. So now I'm gonna go back here and adjust my scores calculation, okay? 
So now, just to make this a bit cleaner, I'm gonna put all this in, in parentheses and open up another one, another rank. And then this time I'm gonna select column H. Again, do the same thing, freeze it. Now this time, because I don't want to reward the teams that had the, the most yellow cards, the most infractions, I want to reward the teams that had the least, All right? So in this case, I'm using ascending order. So I need to make this argument comma, comma one there. I didn't do that for the other ones just because the default was fine. And now instead of dividing by 10, I'm going a decimal further back. So I'm gonna divide it by 100, right? So as you can see, this is the pattern you, you would use. If you've got more tiebreakers after this, you'd go into the thousands and the 10,000, 100,000 and so on. So now you can see now I got 1.14. So we're grabbing that four out of there. Copy this down. And now you can see this one is 2.21. So now it's correctly ranking team four as having a score of 2.21, which is better than 2.22 and 2.23. So by doing it this way, by having this sort of helper column to, to score your, your rankings, you can re-rank them based on these calculations. I find this is a bit cleaner than trying to do it all um, in just one column. So that's how you can get around the limitations of just trying to do one ranking calculation at once. Because as you, as you could see, you know, if you're just looking at points, you can easily run into the problems and then, you know, rather than having multiple helper columns and that sort of thing, you can just create one for, for the scores where you're using the rank function. And for the first criteria, and this is this is the most important part, is you wanna figure out what criteria is most important, right? Initially looking at points, then what's second most important, goal differential, and then what's third most important, the, the fair play points. Because as you can see, you know, if, if this should be more important than this, then obviously it should come up further in the decimal um, in the decimal order. So team four, for example, that scored best on fair play would be 2.12, right? So that would that would change how that calculation works and and may affect the the ranking. So it's important that when you do it this way, you ensure that the the the, the one that is most important shows up first, and then least important second, and then the 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 following importance after that, and then dividing by 10 and 100 and 1,000 and however far deep you need to go along the way. So that's how you can break ties in, in Excel. It's not too complicated a process. You just need to build the logic into it. And then once you've got it, as you can see, it's really easy to you know make these changes. And so they update dynamically for you. So that's how you can do that in Excel. And thank you for watching.